Here's our airplane that we have one three seven I'm sorry seven three nine Lima Tango. So if we zoom in on the registration number, there's our registration number. It's in small letters, uh, three inch letters I think, but November seven three nine Lima Tango. So let's see what we can learn about Lima Tango. Going to the Federal Aviation Administration, FAA.gov. I'm going to type in 739 Lima Tango. The only difference is this time we're going to go to the type certificate data sheet. So I started with the registration. Here's 739 Lima Tango. Let's see if I can zoom in. Okay, so 739 Lima Tango, if we look here, this is a 172N is the model. So I'm going to write that down. This is a 172N uh, is the model number, okay? And it's a Cessna, and it looks like, when was it built? 1978, okay? So this was built in 1978. The last thing I, I do want to look, uh, looks like this is a flight training airplane. It belongs to Blue Sky Flight Training at Hamilton Airport. That's where I took this picture. Let's see what it's got for an engine. Okay, so this has a Lycoming, the manufacturer is Lycoming, L-Y-C-O-M-I-N-G, and this is a O-320 series. Okay, so now we're going to go and look at all the other information on the 172 that we can find on this 172N model. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the FAA website, to the home page. Over at the top right, you'll see a brown box that says FAA for you. I'm going to highlight this box, and when I do that, it says Pilots, Mechanics, Travelers. Well, I'm a mechanic. I'm an aircraft mechanic. That's what I am. So I'm going to go to this and click on the Mechanics drop-down. And it asks me if I want to fill out a survey. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Okay, this is the Mechanics page. You'll be at this page over and over again. As long as you work as an aircraft mechanic, you will be at the FAA mechanics page. So this page has everything I need to know as an FAA mechanic. Anyway, I want to look for a type certificate data sheet. So if I go here, I'm going to click on the type certificate data sheet. Now, there's several ways I can use this page, this type certificate data sheet. But let's just see if I can type in 172. Let's just do this for kicks. And here it has, sure enough, Textron Aviation. Textron Aviation is the company that makes the 172. Now, I may have to know who the manufacturer is, and the manufacturer was Cessna. But Cessna is a, is a company that's owned by a great big conglomerate company. So sometimes uh, I might have to do some searching to figure out who owns that company. So I can go to Google and I can, I can type who owns Cessna or I can type in Cessna information or something like that, Cessna 172. And I can usually find that, um, that the company that the name of the type certificate's in. Anyway, here I have a 172, a 172E, a 172S, and this happened to be a 172N. But let's just click on the 172, see what happens. It opens another box. And in that box, I have a hyperlink here because it's a different color text. I move my little cursor there, turns into a little hand. And here I open yet another page. This is, there's a ton, there's a ton of pages this thing keeps open. But I have a PDF file here. If I open this PDF file, this is what we call the type certificate data sheet. It gives me all the information on the airplane. Starting up at the top corner, there's a box here. It gives me the number. There's a type certificate data sheet number. It gives me a revision. It tells me what company, and it tells me all the models that are on this document. And if we come down here, here's the 172N right here, 172N. That's, that's the model that we saw on our aircraft registration. So... Let's go down this document and see what we can learn about this 172N. 
and the computer went crazy on me. So on the first page, on the first page of this, it says 172. Well, to believe it or not, that is not my information. It tells the, en the engine and the fuel. Because remember, this was a 172N model. Okay, so I'm going to start moving down, arrow down. Okay, now we're down here to 172A model, 172B model. We got to go all the way down to N. Okay, now we're up to the 172i model, the 172k, still got a long way to go. There's an L. Okay, here's the 172m model. 172m, Cincinnati State has a 172m model. Okay, now we're coming up on the 172n model. So here we see 172n. The first one was approved. They, they approved the airplane in 1976, and this particular airplane, according to my according to my notes, was made in 1978. All right. So here's the engine on it. My registration, if I look at it, it says that it is an Lycoming O320 series. But look here. They give us the exact type of engine that goes on this airplane. It should have a Lycoming O-320-H2AD. That is the engine that, that was made for this airplane. And then it's got all kinds of interesting information. It tells us what kind of gas to put in it. 100 low lead, that's an aviation type fuel. It tells us what propeller should be on it. it. tells us the limits, how fast this thing can go. Tells us center of gravity. Tells us weight and balance information. So this document will tell us all the things we need to know. Now, as a mechanic, there's important things on the type certificate data sheet we need to know. So if we're working on, say, the wings or the ailerons or the wing flaps, we'll talk about a lot of stuff later. But these are the different settings when I am rigging uh, the airplane to make it fly correctly. I'll put, as part of my maintenance, I'll be putting a protractor on the flight controls to make sure that they operate correctly. And these are the, these are the settings that these flight controls should operate to. So the reason we're learning this as an A&P mechanic is that we have to be able to find a lot of information on this airplane. Okay, so now I know. I know that this Cessna 172, I know that it is a N model from the registration. I know that it's got an uh, O320H2 engine because I found the type certificate data sheet. I can find out what kind of movements the flight controls have to have. There's uh, all kinds of stuff. The airspeed that this thing can fly. There's all kinds of stuff now that I know and I haven't even opened up the airplane and looked at any paperwork inside the airplane. So type certificate data sheet, that's how you do it. And we're going to be doing that a lot in this class.